Hello everybody, hope all is well. Today we're going to discuss uh, Magento, how to install Magento on uh, cPanel, using cPanel, and how to install it onto your domain. Now if you don't know what Magento is, Magento is probably the most flexible enterprise uh, class e-commerce platform to power your business. It is uh, pretty robust and it is perhaps today and you know obviously some people may chime in on this one it's the best e-commerce platform out there oh, especially the best open source free e-commerce software out there you know it's got everything that you could possibly ask for in a e-commerce solution uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want with it so I know there's a lot of people out there that use uh, other CMS's for their shopping cart but Magento definitely is uh, in a class by itself so actually this is not going to be hard a lot of people think Magento is hard to use or hard to install, hard hard to set up, but it's actually not. So we're going to go to our cPanel. So basically what I just did there, your cPanel is whatever your domain is. So in this case, my domain is this. Okay, Your cPanel is that. Uh, to access cPanel, you just type in your domain and you go cPanel. Obviously, this domain here doesn't have... Uh, it's pointed to the server, but it doesn't have any like uh, CMS on it. Doesn't have anything on it, so that's why it came up with that Apache um, designation there. So you log into your cPanel. So remember your domain name plus, uh, sorry, your domain name forward slash and then cPanel. Okay. So probably I'm going to put in my credentials here. Let me just find that password. It changes all the time. All right, oh, I'll try this. All right, so now we're in cPanel. If you have HostGator, uh, I'm pretty sure you know how to get to cPanel. And, well, actually, if you have HostGator, you may have never actually gone to cPanel. But uh, again, your domain name for slash cPanel is how you get here. Okay, so now we're going to do, once we're in cPanel, we're going to go quick install and we find this okay so we go to quick install and we're going to find this is all the software that you can install on your domain so we're gonna find the one that we need and it's Magento so let's see so it's under e-commerce software right here and there you have it just click on it and it's gonna bring you to the screen here and it's going to tell you, do you want to continue installing it? Do you want to install Magento? So say yes and just hit continue. We want to put it on the domain we need to put it on. In this case, I typed in the domain, the domain you saw previously, Fido Forever. And then we're going to put in a admin email. So we'll just use gopriweb.gmail.com. For the admin username, we'll use Eric. Again, you can put fill in these fields the way you want them to be filled out. Okay, so this is uh, we want this in English, and time doesn't matter. Well, you know, I'm in Eastern Standard Time, but you can again put in the time you want. This is not really that's not really necessary for the tutorial, and we'll click on these two. Make sure these two are clicked. And once we hit install, this should load up pretty soon. And there it is, it's installed. Okay, now it's going to give you the admin area domain. Okay, and then it's gonna give you your username and a, and a Magento generated password. Okay, so you wanna just copy that right here because that's how you're gonna log in. And then you're going to click on that to get to the admin. And as you can see, you're on the admin end of Magento. So you just want to put in your username and then the password they gave you. So now you're in the Magento admin. Okay. First thing you want to do is change that password to something you can recognize because the user generated password you probably won't remember. So to do that, you would go system and then my account. 
and these are your credentials so you want to put in your new password okay you want to save after you make those changes okay and now you want to visit the site you want to see that Magento is actually installed we're just at the admin area so you want to type in the domain and there you have it Magento is installed alright so by default Magento comes with um, this little the template that they have the one that comes with uh, preset with the system the one that comes with the system so this is just a Magento template and the next part and the next tutorial we'll talk about how to set up and install a Magento theme so thanks for watching part one and I uh, hope you have a good day